Hey, how's it going? It's your man SXJ on GTA. As you know, two days ago, the, uh, the famous, very old solo jib glitch got patched. Rockstar actually finally patched it in update 1.38. But I've got a workaround for you. I said I'd look into it and I found one. Uh, the founder of it, I can't remember or find his name in the moment, but if you're watching this video, give us a shout and I'll, and I'll give you a mention in the shout, obviously. Uh, this is a workaround for the solo car duplication glitch. And what you're going to need basically is two custom plates to do this. We're going to be changing them instead of respraying the master when we go into LSC. So get yourself the iFruit app on your mobile, on your real life mobile. And you go into LSC Customs at the top left and you'll be presented with this screen. On the bottom you can choose your garage, choose your garage and then you're going to upgrade a car doesn't matter which one, it's just a personal vehicle. Then hit custom plates, come in here, make your own plate. Uh, click done on the keyboard when you're done, and then just follow the procedures. It costs about 100 grand to create a plate. A lot of us have already got one made, um, but you need two for this particular thing. So but when you consider you're making 200,000 roughly off of each of these cars when you duplicate and sell them, it's not really that big a deal. It's worth the investment, as this is the, one of the best dupes out there at the moment. One of the only ones that's working actually, and I found the workaround for you. So yeah, go ahead and do that, get yourself two custom plates, and then we can proceed. The procedure's pretty much the same otherwise. Well, I tested this car with a Simeon mission, and it failed to dupe the first time. I'm in a lobby of 30 people, you might have noticed at the beginning. This car failed to dupe the first time, so I'm just going to try again, don't get put off by that, just try again. Call Simeon up, or Ron or Gerald, each of them put you back into the same position again when you cancel out, so you just cancel out from their mission. Jump straight back in the car, hit gas, and after four seconds, if it's a good lobby, it will kick you out of the car. There we go, it's automatically breaking my hat, my finger was hard on the gas then. It forced me out of the car and I can't get back into it. So there we are, we're good to go now. So I'm just gonna run around now and look for a car to duplicate, something with a little bit of value to it. Uh, Sentinel XS, XS's, uh, Schwartz's, the Xeon Cabrillets, there's quite a few cars out there worth the money. Uh, my Batsu Penumbras as well, they pay off about 195000 when they're um, done, so they're worth using. Anyway, got myself a nice little car, it's worth a few bob, broken the door off, going to do the door test now as per usual. You guys that have done this glitch before, that know the procedure, you can jump Hello. ahead obviously to LSC just to see the uh, slight change that we do now with the plate. Okay, okay, Plates. I'll get you out of trouble. But for those no newcomers, problem. I want to show you all of the basics. So we've broken the door off of the car that we want to duplicate now. <clears throat> and we're going to go over to a garage. And park as close as possible to the blue circle, so that when we step out of the car, we go in as quick as possible really. Doesn't matter if you've got to shift around a little bit to get into the blue circle. Just you get sucked straight into your garage. There we go, we're in the garage. Leave the garage straight away. And what we want to see is that car door back on the vehicle. There we go, it didn't work the first time. Don't worry, don't get despondent. Just jump in the car again, try again. Happens in the best of lobbies. A lot of people edit these parts out just so they can show a perfect smooth running video so it looks good for them. But I like to show you the little things that can happen, the little mistakes and not to worry about them basically, just try again. You can try three, four times sometimes. After that, I'd probably get another car and try that. So we got back in the car, moved it a little bit, put it back in position, got out, sucked into the garage, come out, second, tr second try, and the door has spawned back on. So that's good. And that pretty much makes this car our car. It's not gonna despawn. It should not despawn anyway. Being a glitch, there's always tiny percentage of chance that he could do. But that's the best thing you can do, the best test you can do to make sure it stays your car now. What I'm doing now, I know I'm ready to proceed, so I want to kick everyone from the lobby doing the old PS4 or the, the dashboard trick, not just PS4, I think it works on Xbox One as well. Is you just go to the date and time settings and change them forward a year on your console. Come back to the game, it'll be frozen, go back to your console change them back again to 2017 or your current year that you're in and back to the game and it will kick everyone who say one's left your lobby.
They don't actually physically get kicked, it's just they're, they're, they're removed from the game and you're pretty much put into your own identical lobby that is still public. public. <clears throat> Excuse me, right, I've just got in with the mask car now, just into the garage. You don't have to do this step necessarily, but I just like to do it. Just gets the shutters to open up a little bit earlier on the doors when you do come in again. You know, I like to think it again, it embeds the car in the game a little bit more. But I've just gone into the garage, you can repair the car, come out, or you can not repair the car, just come out without doing anything. All I'm doing now, positioning the car up for the first test dupe. So all I did there is as I'm going into LSC the second time, just hit the pause button or the start menu, bring that up just as you're rolling in, and that allow you to roll straight in without going into the garage. And then back up into this position, just past that grill there, so your front wheels are just behind that grill. Call up Simeon, Ron or Gerald, cancel the job. Get back in your car, hit gas and tap right on the direction pad and it'll take you straight into the mod menu. Remember now what we're doing, big change here, we don't respray the car, we're just going to change to a private plate. One that you've created earlier or had earlier already. Come outside, wait a moment, take a slow look around. And there, just with a test tube, we've created our first test tube, so that's good. Just want to test now that the master car will stay in the game when we jump into the test tube and move it about. So again, just press the start button, take it into the garage, park it up against that red box. This is another manoeuvre I like to do. <clears throat> it's nice to see the car actually in the cutscenes when you go in and out of the garage as well. Just my little preference, it works for me and I think it's the best advice to give to you guys as well, new and experienced. So I've got the test tube. When we do create the uh, modified ones, duplicates and put trackers on them, that's where I like to park them against that wall there. I'm just doing the same with this one, going back in, seeing that the master's still there, before we put any money in, into it at all. We're still sitting there happy, so we're going to jump in. And it's now good to modify and put all our money into this car now. And upgrade it to the max. Obviously do not put a tracker on the master car. Because if the duplicate won't work then the duplication process will not work. So we're just going to max it out with everything else. Don't put money into any expensive car uh, paint jobs yourself, I'm just doing this for show. But don't put it on yourself, don't tint the windows, no money from that either. Don't put any neon lighting, uh, tyre enhancements. None of that brings you any extra money, so avoid that and that will save you a lot of money. But still maximise the worth, the value of the car. Okay, so we're just going in there, and this is our first modified duplicate we want to make. So just... Hit the start button, positioning the car, front wheels just beyond that grill on the inside. Calling up a job, cancelling out. Back in your car, hit gas, tap right on the D-pad and we're straight into the mod menu. And again, plate. Must change the plate to the private plate. Do not respray. Doesn't have the same effect anymore. The car will be bricked when you come out of the LSC if you just spray the car. Just come out there, take a slow look, look around. And there we go, we've got our first modified duplicate. duplicate. Seeing that they're worth about 200,000, you can consider that one the payoff for the first two plates that you've had to make, if you've had to make two private plates from scratch on the iFruit app. Seeing that they cost 100,000 each to make. That's now paid for them, so that's good. So I'm just taking this car back inside LSC, parking it up in my favourite spot. And we're going to go outside, jump into the new modified duplicate and take it inside and put a tracker on it, because we want to keep this now. Yes, yeah, a shame Rockstar patched it, but uh, I, suppose, I guess it was coming, it was uh, a long time in the coming. It's been around for years, the original way of doing it. But, um, they've obviously upped their game recently. Don't know who they've got on, some super squad of 
glitch detecting social media searching guys that are uh, keeping on top of it because it seems like they really know what they're doing there at the moment. I've got your backs guys, I've got you covered, I've brought out this new, um, showing you this new workaround, so keep you in, in the money. And here we go, that's our uh, car with the tracker on now, the duplicate with the tracker, the master's always parked in here, so you're never going to get confused either, that's a good way about, about parking it in here, good point, because you're never going to get confused with cars. What is what? So we have the tracker on that car outside now, <coughs> excuse me. I think I just overshot the, uh, the grill there, yeah, so I'm just going back in again, hit the pause button so I don't get pulled in. Reverse up to behind that grill. And we're just going to create one more dupe just to show you the process of uh, changing the plates. So calling up, cancelling out of one of the missions. No major panic now because of how we do this, how we park the car, we're going, going straight into the mod shop so you can relax about timing. Got What's plenty of time. Changing the plate to the other personal plate. Didn't spawn that time, that's fine. We haven't lost a single penny, we'll just turn around and do it again. Just like to show you the things that can happen, will happen, but don't panic. It is normal, it's fine. For a glitch lobby, these things are gonna happen there and again. We go through the procedure again, call up mission, cancel out, jump in the car, straight in. Hit the gas, touch right on the D-pad, go straight in. And again, we're just going to play, change the plate to the other personal plate, and that stops the car from bricking when you leave LSC. Okay, just wait a moment, take a slow look around. And there we go, we've got our second dupe. And that's pretty much it. You take that in, put a tracker on, that replaces the other one, so on and so forth, just loop the procedure. So, yep, still working, still going to make you money. Don't know how long this will last before Rockstar try and patch this one as well. It'd be interesting to see actually how they uh, try and patch a personal plates because you need the ability to be able to apply them to cars. So we'll see what happens there. But have fun. Keep making your money. Subscribe. Don't forget to hit the little notification bell next to me name and you'll get instant updates of my videos. I'm going to keep you guys in the loop, keep you updated. With all the latest glitches, news and info on GTA 5. Take it easy, have a great day, and I'll speak to you soon. Bye.